Hey everybody, I'm the Maple Man. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to part 52 of my Sims 4 gameplay that I call Invasion. It all started with four aliens landing on Earth and they all have missions to accomplish. But right now, we're focused on another four that have come into play. Um, they are the grandchildren of one of our main characters. They are quadruplets due to a little bit of cloning technology, and they are all part of the realm of magic. They have uh, mage blood within them because their grandfather was part of the realm of magic. So that's what we're going to do. That is my plan. I want to get them to the realm of magic and have them um, start mentoring under the mages. That's the plan. If you have any questions, comments, or anything you'd like to say, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. I do read comments, and when I can, I do try to reply. So that is definitely enough uh, said from me. It's time to dive right in. Peace and love, everybody. Let's play. I, I played ahead to the next day. Everybody's in a pretty good state. I had uh, some of the characters just working on some of the stuff behind the scenes that we'll get to in a bit, such as Xylo continuing to build the rocket and some things broke around the house as normal, so we fixed those. And the boys don't have school for two days, so we're gonna take advantage of this. They're all uh, mages, um, or at least they have that in their bloodline. So I think one of the goals before with, uh, with them while they're teenagers and before they become young adults and move out is I think they should all learn like one spell. That's the goal. We'll see if that happens. But before we even get to the realm of magic, we're in Glimmerbrook. Um, I took Octo and uh, the boys out to Glimmerbrook. They're going to go to the realm of magic. We're going to start that right away because they got two days off. It's going to be their secondary type of learning. Um, but before we go there... I do have to show you some of their outfits that they've changed into. So uh, let's have a look at that first. So some of the outfits you've seen already, some not so much. So I don't know what outfit this is of Strays, but it's definitely unique. It's not my favorite. <laughs> Even though I have a sweater like that. Ta-da! This is, um, I think this is the most unusual. Brandon is wearing a nice blazer with a uh, sarong and uh, sandals. So, <laughs> I can't remember. Is Brayden, um, what is his, he wants to be a super parent. I thought for a minute there he was um, like a child of the islands or something like that. I don't think he is. No, he's a music lover, so he's just unique. This was, this is Connor's outfit. We saw that last night. He's wearing the same outfit that we saw last night, and this is Dax. Um, it's unusual, kind of flashy. I actually thought this top, when I saw it in the little icons, was a woman's top, which is fine. If he wants to be gender fluid, that's okay, because this looks very, very gender fluid to me. I like the jeans, I like the jeans, but um, yeah, I just wanted to show you their, their new looks. I guess we'll see more outfits as uh, the days go on. But yeah, here's where we're gonna start. So I'm gonna get them all going to the Realm of Magic. Okay, so here we are in the Realm of Magic. Oh, who is this guy? Oh, yeah. <gasps> That's Lion! Lion is here! Look at his outfit, that's so cool! Oh, he has definitely become a lot more cool. Definitely, glad to see that with Lion. So, I'm gonna start with the easiest one. I'm gonna start with Connor here. Uh, which one is Connor? Connor is going to learn the uh, whatchamacallit, the mischief magic. So we will find, I think it's El, El Faba, who's the one who does the mischievous magic. Oh, all the mages, well, two of the mages are down here. Oh, there's another level. Oh, I didn't know that. That's new. Okay, we need to find El. There's El, friendly intro. She is, yes, the sage, not the mage, the sage of mischief magic. This guy is the sage of practical magic. And this, Morgan is the Sage of Untamed Magic. So I think, yeah, definitely Connor will be interested in <laughs> learning from so, L. So, so. Okay, let's see. Um, where is Magic, magic. Um, ask for the Rite of Dissolution. What is that? Can I have the right of dissolution, please? Let's see what happens. 
Oh, are you sure you don't want to be a spellcaster anymore? <gasps> oh, cancel. Okay, never mind. Okay, dissolution means uh, you're not a mage anymore. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's the whole reason we're here. No, he wants to learn magic. Ask to teach mischief magic. <laughs> what did she say? No. <laughs> I can't share my knowledge with just anyone. Let's get to know each other first, then I'll decide if you're worthy. Okay, so let's, um, I'm going to try to keep my eyes about, okay, flash crazy eyes since you are um, mischievous and a little playful. There you go, Connor. Oh, she liked it. Okay, let's get to know her a little better. Let's play What's That Spot. I'm not sure if that's the best thing. And get to know. And then see if she will take him under her wing. Okay, Connor has achieved the mischief skill. <laughs> I'm not sure she, that she was that... Oh, she's... They're embarrassed. That's not good. Let's see if we can get her to teach him the mischief magic. Oh, no, she just won't teach it yet. Okay. Well, let's let him chat with her a bit. We'll just load this up with friendly stuff. And then uh, we will start with uh, some of the others. Let's go to... Oh, Dax. Dax is asleep. Now, Dax is... I can't remember if he's the neat one or the studious one. I think he is the studious one. Um, so, I think he would learn from the practical magic one. Give him a friendly introduction. Who is this? Simeon. Give Simeon a friendly introduction. Okay, Dax, you gotta get tell a joke about mimes. Let's load up the friendly stuff. Um, ask about his career. There you go. <laughs> and well, the, he gets to know Simeon. Oh, he smells. When he needs to use the washroom. Okay, we got to take care of their needs as well. Okay, Dax, after you get to know him a little bit, let's find a washroom. Take care of that. And who else do we have? Brandon. Brandon, you are going to learn from Morgan. You haven't left this spot. Oh, you're tired. Let's find Morgan. Let's find Morgan. Oh, we got some people dueling here. That's awesome. Who are these people? Oh, no. This guy lost. Bryant lost. Okay, none of these are sages. Um, I think there's only three, but that's so weird that they have four different types of magic. Oh, there's Morgan. There's Morgan. Okay, Brandon, go. Give Morgan a friendly introduction. Load up some friendly stuff here. And... We'll see what happens. Okay, Connor. Connor, Connor, Connor. Where are you? Connor, you're uncomfortable. You're tired. Oh, oh, you're not liking something. Let's find Elle again. I think she went down here and see if she, oh, she's, she seems to be uh, tutoring somebody right now. Let's do a couple more friendly interactions. Why is everything complain? Complain about everything. <laughs> Share photos. Share photos. Do some friendly stuff. Let's at least get one of the... Why does he have so many nasty things? <laughs> because he's a teenager. That's why. Um, and discuss interests. And let's see if that will do anything. Uh, you're not moving. You're exhausted. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, you're watching this guy who is not a mage. They're all young adults, but none of them are mages. No, no. Oh yeah, Octo's here. How's she doing? Oh, she's fine. She's fine. She's just talking to the men. <laughs> Which doesn't surprise us. Okay, Connor, go talk to Elle. And I think one of my people was downstairs taking a bath. Oh, she's right there. She's right there. Where are you going? Okay, I guess we're going downstairs, which is where her lessons take place. <laughs> he doesn't even see her. Okay, Brandon's... No. <laughs> Dax was in the back just helping himself to food. That's fine. Oh, okay. Stray's down here taking a nap. I know we haven't focused on Stray because I want to get the other three started on their magic. At or at least one of them in this part. We're losing time. It's already three in the afternoon. Okay. You are over here. 
do a couple more friendly interactions, and let's see if we can at least get you started. Okay, I like this outfit of strays a lot better. Oh, it looks like she is, like, sensing whether he's a good candidate for to become a mage or not. I'm not sure. So let's let's just ask one more time. Come on, magic. Um, ask to teach mischief magic. Oh, it doesn't look... Okay, let's see if she'll teach him a potion then. Loonies. Has to teach a potion Jessa. recipe. Let's see if she'll at least do that. Javina. Koya Sharba? Rafa. No. How? Let's get to know each other a bit Zimbabwe. first. So I think this is going to take a while with each of them. But let's focus on getting one of them done. Tell an engaging story. Connor's too miserable. Why are you miserable? Oh, you're exhausted. You're going to pass out. Okay, well, I'm going to check everybody else. Everybody's just exhausted. Oh, they stayed up most of the night. I think that's why. Okay, well, let's just try one more time with Connor. Other, otherwise, we will have to continue this later because they don't seem to be getting anywhere with this. Okay, teach me a potion, please. Kinkuya. Oh, <gasps> Connor has been taught a new potion recipe and has been given a sample. One potion of good fortune has been added to his inventory. Well, thank goodness we got something done. Oh, let's open our spell book. Okay, Connor Puss Livingston's spell book. Schools of magic, mischief magic. Oh, alchemy. Oh, he got, okay, let's go to the alchemy page. Oh, he has a potion of good fortune. All right, we like that. So under his mischief... Okay, this is Untamed Magic. Mischief. Desperio. Okay, a mischief spellcaster loves nothing more than tormenting others with magical pranks. Why take everything so seriously? So he does have to get L to start teaching him this. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, the Untamed Magic is Morgan. Uh, what else is here? Alchemy. Oh, Alchemy's the fourth school. Okay. So we have the three mages that are going to teach practical magic, mischief magic, and untamed magic. And alchemy is something completely different. Okay. I think we've kind of done everything we can right now. Most of them are exhausted. Stray is the only one who's fine. So maybe I will set, start sending them home. But I think Stray can stay here. Stray is doing fine. And we will see um, if they're all going to do schools of magic but Stray... Maybe he should get to know some of the other mages a bit. And maybe he can just work on potions. Oh, and their mom's here. Persia's here. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, so we're sending everybody home except Stray. Okay, Stray, we've got to... Can we learn stuff on our... We can cook mac and cheese. We can experiment. Let's experiment on this cauldron. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. All right, what are we doing here? Oh, you're getting tired too. Okay, well, just a little bit. Let's see if we can get one potion from one of the mages. Maybe we'll try Morgan. Well, he seems very intent on it. I'm not sure what's exactly happening. And there's no real timer, so I'm not sure... If this is actually... He's working up a sweat. I'm not sure if this is actually doing anything. Okay, well, let's go find Morgan and see if he, if he can get a potion as well. Ooh, we can bind a familiar? How do we do that? Name the familiar. Regal and powerful. This dragon should never be discounted based on its size. It is a formidable foe as well as a cherished companion. <gasps> okay, I like this. Stray is getting a familiar. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. What should we call it? Um, let's see, uh, Stray, Feral, Feral. That's what we're gonna call it. Okay. <laughs> I honestly don't know what that did. Well, maybe when he uses magic, it'll work. Okay, let's find Morgan and um, see if we can get a potion. Okay, let's look for Morgan. Oh, his Aunt Catherine is here. Okay. 
Okay, there's a battle going on. Is that Persia? Yeah, oh, Persia is in a battle. We didn't really explore her magical side, but look at her go now. Oh, okay, she didn't do so well. That's fine, Morgan. There he is up in the garden. That's usually where he, uh, they are. Um, I believe Morgan is transgendered, so we don't really know um, what he goes by. So we'll say, I keep seeing, saying he because I've always thought he was a he. What they go by, but we will just call them Morgan. All right, come on, Stray. You're still doing fine. You're energized. Even though you're getting tired, it says you're energized. Oh, what is this? The spark of magic begins to flow and swirl. Practical magic. Learn and make new potions on the cauldron. Cast spells and search for tomes to gain experience. Oh, there's a lot to this. Okay. Let's see, because we have a bit of magic, if you'll give them a, a potion right off the bat. If they will give him a potion right off the bat. I mean, no insult. Muscalva. Misser. This guy is looking, giving the stink eye to our characters here for some reason. Oh, we got a negative. I don't think he's going to teach us a potion. Oh, can't share my knowledge with just about anybody. Okay, let's uh, give them a hip bump. Uh, give them a pep talk. Let's uh, tell a joke about barnacles. And let's get to know them. Oh, deep conversation. That should help. Okay, come on, Stray. Get to know Morgan. Yeah, tell him about yourself. You know, I just became a teenager and I decided to start wearing a pink mohawk. <laughs> and apparently I have a familiar that I've named that I've named Feral, who's a dragon, which I haven't met yet. Can we call? Let's see if we can call oh, familiars. Summon the familiar. Okay, we're gonna summon the familiar. Oh, 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 oh. oh summon Feral. Oh, oh, that's Feral. <laughs> He's cute. Okay. Um, so we got a couple things done. Connor learned a potion, and um, Stray got a got a familiar. <laughs> I love it. Just getting our familiar feral was worth the trip. Okay. So I think it's eight o'clock at night. We're gonna go back to the house. Um, Actually, Stray is still doing okay. Let's find Morgan again. I'm going to just put a little bit more time in and see if we can maybe learn a bit more from Morgan, if we can find him. Oh, Connor's still here. <laughs> okay, Connor, go home. <laughs> There's Morgan. Okay, Stray, get back. Give him another hip bump. Uh, enthuse about interests. Yeah, Morgan would be somebody to learn some um, spells from, for sure. They look like they know their stuff. All right, giving them a hip bump, chatting a bit. Uh, discuss interests. I'm just going to load up the friendship things and go from there. Okay. Let's get to know them well. Now let's see if we can get a potion, and then we'll head back. Oh, it looks good. <gasps> okay. One potion of the Nimble Mind has been added to the inventory. Let's check this out. Alchemy. Potion of the Nimble Mind. A potion that will increase the speed your sims gain skills. We need parsley and a spotted dirt frog. I didn't realize there were ingredients. Okay, I like the idea of stray learning the potions, while the other three will learn the magic. Oh, I love this. Okay. And, um... Oh, he's still talking to Morgan. So, we will head back to the house and uh, see what everybody else is up to. Okay, we are back at the house, and before I skip ahead till tomorrow, uh, Egg must have got a promotion, because that's a brand new jacket. Good on it. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm zipping ahead till tomorrow. I think we'll head back to Realm of Magic since all the kids are still have a day off unless they all of a sudden go to school. We'll see when I, after I zip ahead. So the uh, four T 
teenagers did actually have school today, which uh, I didn't think they did. So I basically played ahead till the end of the school day. Uh, everybody else went to work. Octo, I just let her sleep and just take care of a couple things around the house. So not much has really happened since uh, we left the Realm of Magic. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take uh, Brendan and Dax back to the Realm of Magic because they didn't really get very far, not as far as the other two, because um, Stray got a potion, and or the recipe for a potion, and his little dragon, Feral, and Connor, you know, he got a little further ahead. He got a potion too. And I think he got accepted by L. I can't remember uh, off the top of my head because uh, it has been a couple days since I played the first part of this. But what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, Stray and Connor doing their homework because they are going to school now. And we're going to get Dax and Brandon's needs up a bit. And we'll see in an hour or two how they're all doing. And the plan is to take Dax and Brandon back to the Realm of Magic. But if they're just in really bad states, we'll see which two. Because bringing all four just didn't seem to get anything accomplished. So I'm going to press play here. What is going on with you? You're enraged. Uh, I'm not okay. Oh, oh, from having a mood swing. You yeah, know what? You Talk get... to your dragon. Uh, you oh. Okay. His familiar. That's what we're going to call it. Okay, so let's check on um, Mortified. Stop looking at me from having a mood swing. But how are your needs? Oh, yeah. Stop looking at me. You need a shower, you stink kiddo. Okay, so he's going to take a shower, and Dax, where are you, Dax? You need, you'll, you need to sleep. Okay, we'll give you a little nap here, and uh, we will see how everybody's doing in a bit. Stray, I know you're enraged, but you can do your homework. <laughs> oh, where is this homework book? We're missing a homework book. Oh, oh my god, really, Stray? Life is not that bad. Yeah, I get it. You're part alien, you want to be a mage, you want to be a mermaid, and you want to be a vampire. I get it. There's a lot going on with you. Let's find a homework book. He's a complicated child. Oh, God, stop crying, Brandon. Oh, my God, these these ones are quite emotional, I gotta say. We gotta find a homework book for Stray. There's one. That's probably your book right there. Here, do your homework. Don't watch TV. And Dax is sleeping. Connor, 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 Connor. Connor's doing fine. He can do his homework. There we go. Let's get... Oh, he's far too tense. Why are you tense? Okay, you need to have some fun first. Okay. Both of the computers are broken. That's not great. Um, what is fun is... Reading is fun. Reading is fun. We will get you reading. There. Read. Fortune telling for goofballs. Actually, that would be good. Fortune telling kind of goes with magic. Okay, who's walking in the backyard? Mortified again. Oh, yeah. you're talking to Egg. Egg is back. Okay, how's Egg doing? Egg's exhausted. Okay, he can go to sleep too. I don't know if we're going to be able to take Dax and Brandon. They may just have to wait. The only one who's doing okay is the enraged Stray and uh, this cute little familiar Feral. <laughs> All right, it's 10 to 5. You know what? I'm going to take, I'm going to take Dax and Brandon and we'll just see uh, how it works. Okay, so we have these two in the realm of magic here. Who is this? Oh, Lion is back. Lion is looking so cool now, even though he never did before. Okay, okay, someone has to go up to the washroom. Wait, where are you going home? Return to active lot. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, no, don't return to the active lot. Go to the washroom. You are Brandon. You wanted to learn magic from Morgan. I remember that. Morgan is usually up here. Here he is. Let's go. Uh, tell him a funny story, do a self-deprecating joke. And I did have the other characters work a little bit on their um, goals as well over the course of the night, but not much got done. So we'll get back to that. Okay. Oh, Nicole's been promoted to mad scientist. She does so much better when I'm not doing a get to work with her. Oh. You For sounded this. so good sad just dish. there, Brandon. Ah. Okay, you're getting in good with Morgan. They <laughs> like you. Okay, let's see if maybe now can you ask to teach the untamed magic after you, like, play What's That Spot. That's fine. I can't share my knowledge. Let's get to know each other first. Okay, I guess they got to really get to know each other well. Give him a hit bump. 
Um, let's do get to know because they say let's get to know each other. Uh, get to know. Do we know anything about Morgan? No. Oh no, they're not getting along for some reason. What did we learn about Morgan? Morgan is unemployed. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to switch it over to Dax. What is Dax doing? Dax is reading which witch bewitched which witch. Okay, with who? Who's this? Chaz. Chaz. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's a teenager. You might as well get to know him. Give him a friendly introduction. You can always use friends. Dax, you are exhausted as well. Maybe I should have brought the other two, but that's okay. This is a pretty relaxed outfit you got here, Dax. I've never seen this one before. All right, Chaz seems to be a little... All right, I'm so... Oh, they don't want to talk. He does not want to talk to him at all. He's not even looking at him. Chaz is kind of staring at him, and <laughs> he's like, no. That was just awkward. Okay, um, yeah, there's our other one. There's Brandon. Okay, Simeon. Simeon is who we want to talk to. That's right. Um, tell a joke about ducks. Come on, come on. Don't fall asleep. Pomeray. Okay, they don't know each other that well either. So, let's talk about the warm temperature. Discuss fitness techniques, because you were working out. These two actually, they're probably exhausted because they he was on the treadmill for like hours last night. Um, let's get to know him. Discuss interests. This is going to be your mentor. You have to get to know him. Get to know him. What is that noise? Dax is learning the following traits about Simeon. Simeon is gloomy. Okay. Okay, and we're about to have a, pa a power failure. And this guy is... Where are you? Oh, you're just sitting here. You're exhausted. Okay, this... <laughs> I'm going to send them home. This is not working so well. <laughs> It is 9.30 at night. I'm gonna, just going to play a little bit more ahead in this part, just uh, with some of the characters at home, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so we're back at the house. Um, Stray was starting to work out. They seem to like this um, uh, Stairmaster walking machine, whatever, but he's kind of bored. He's kind of bored. I don't know. Maybe uh, it's 10 o'clock on a Tuesday night. I'm going to get some of the characters working on things. So one thing I have, um, I've been having Nickel work on the robotic station. So I'm gonna have her do that. She's a little tired, but I think she's okay because she can craft a robo arm, but she needs a whole bunch of parts. Actually, if she fixes these computers, she should get some parts. Ooh, expert repair. I wanna see what level she is now with her career since she got that promotion. She is, a level nine scientist. That is fantastic. So she's going to repair those. She'll probably get some uh, more electronic parts, which is good. Okay, Dax and Br Brandon are asleep. Uh, Connor's still doing his homework. Uh, Stray, did you do your homework? Did you finish it? No. You might as well do that. You might as well get, you know, look at his face. <laughs> With the glasses, I'm like, okay, yeah, here he is. He's definitely, definitely rocking another look, for sure. Okay, do your homework. Don't just stand there. He's got to think about it. Where did your familiar go? Oh, there he is. Feral, it took a while for Feral to catch up. Silo, so if you're home and you're okay, oh, you're a little lonely. You're sad. Oh, and you're tired. Oh, he's helping him with his homework. Well, that's okay. Where's that happening? Okay, the homework's happening. Stray, you keep putting your homework down. Do your homework. Oh my god. He just puts it down in here for some reason. Stray just will not do his homework. Do your flippin' homework. There you go. There you go. Look, you got a dragon to help you. You've got a dragon to help you. It's all about, you know, science. Combustion. And you put your homework book away. Connor, what are you up to? You're getting tired, but I think you did your homework, didn't you? Awesome! At least one of them did. The evil one did. That's okay. That's okay. And now he's just teasing his brother. Remember who the original is, Connor? You were the last. Don't make fun of your brother. Actually, they liked it. Oh, he had to... <laughs> he was performing a mischievous interaction. And they woke Zylo up. That's okay. We got stuff for Zylo to do. 
Let's get him working on the steampunk flingamajig just a bit more. It is coming along. I don't like that it's constantly raining here right now, but that's okay. We'll get Xylo out there working on that. Oh, egg is fine. Okay, you know what? Do another speech out in the rain. We got a vampire here. Oh, stray. Stray, stray, stray. Go talk to the vampire. You're interested in vampires. So go uh, invite him in. You know, go meet Vlad. He's the master vampire and... You know, you can show off Feral. Go, okay, I'm interested in being a vampire, a mermaid, an alien, and a mage. So, come on in. <laughs> he has another mentor in Vlad. I see it now. No, he left. Oh, no, there he is. Oh, and he left. Okay. Okay, Vlad is is just having a moment. Stray can't even talk to him because he keeps disappearing and reappearing. Okay. Okay, give him a funny intro. There's the, there's the. <laughs> oh, they don't like each other. Oh, come on. Tell him a funny story. Oh, and the aliens are coming going, hey, oh, you're a vampire. Okay. I think Stray's do handling this pretty well. And so is Feral. Just, they're just the cutest little dragon in the background, just flapping his wings, hanging out. Text emergency from Stray. I texted somebody, but they didn't text back. And it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? I don't know who he's asking, either Egg, Octo, or Vlad. Uh, whoever he's asking could say, yeah, maybe they missed the first one or no wait for them to respond. I think everybody here would say, yeah, just text them again. Te just keep texting them. Oh, that was Egg, yeah, of course Egg would. He's like, if you wanna be popular, don't let people get away with not texting you back. I think that's perfect. I think this is where we will end this part. Obviously, had a lot to do with the quadruplets, and I think the next part will as well, um, as the characters continue working on uh, different things, the rocket ship, the robot arm, and fame. <laughs> and really, we need these kids to uh, learn a potion, get an A in high school, and move them out, because there's too many of them. <laughs> anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this part. And um, till next time, peace and love.